The WWE 2K24 roster reveal is now underway, with the first batch of superstars revealed via Up Up Down Down, where not only did we find out their ratings, but we also got a look at them in action, with gameplay also confirming additional stars, attires, moves and more of the new licensed referees. So we're going to run through the first batch of reveals, though before we get into that, if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with all its news on WWE 2K24, then please do hit that subscribe button and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on future videos. So let's talk this year's roster and ratings reveals, as posting on X, formerly Twitter, the Up Up Down Down account shared the following, well, look what we dug up. Our super sleuths dug into the filing cabinet of one Game Over Greggy and discovered a treasure trove of WWE Games Superstar ratings. Over the next week, we'll be spilling the tea as we give you the WWE 2K ratings reveal. Following the tweet, it didn't take long for the ratings reveal to get underway, with the first reveal seeing the overall ratings for the Judgment Day's Rhea Ripley and Dirty Dom, with Rhea rated 96, which is 6 points higher than 2K23 and the highest women's rating in 2K24. Meanwhile, Dirty Dom's rating seen him rated 83, which is 5 points up on last year. Taking a look at the footage that accompanied the reveal, this gives us our first proper look at Dom, who gets a brand new entrance this year, the entrance seeing him appear with a scarf over his face in his checkered shirt, with Dom's ring attire seeing him in black as he takes out Sami Zayn. If I freeze the footage during the frog splash, then you can get a great look at the update to Dom, whose model is easily one of the best to be shown off. Moving on to the footage of Rhea, the video starts off with part of her new title entrance before we get gameplay of Rhea that confirms the inclusion of Tegan Knox, whose model has undergone a major update. Tegan's gear is an attire that she wore for last year's Royal Rumble, though this specific version appears to be taken from a dark match with Lacey Evans in April of last year, where Tegan wore the bandage on her left leg. The footage of Rhea and Dom also suggests that we'll see a special manager entrance for the pair, as the entrance footage shows a new motion of Rhea whispering into Dom's ear on the ramp, with the two also shown at ringside as Rhea leans over Dom with the title. Based on the footage, this looks to be a special championship manager entrance, though there is the possibility that it could be part of the new four-person Judgment Day entrance, or at the very least, part of that motion. As we move on, the second star to be shown off was the A-lister, The Miz, whose rating in 2K24 is 81, which is 4 points lower than 2K23. Along with his rating, Up Up Down Down also showed off some exclusive gameplay of The Miz taken on Damien Priest, where it was shown that Miz features his white outfit with a red jacket from the 2023 Royal Rumble, which is an event that's seen Maurice wear a matching outfit that would suggest that her gear may also be from the same event. In the gameplay posted by Up Up Down Down, Miz can be seen delivering the It Kicks and the Skull Crushing Finale from various angles, with these shots giving us a great example of the updates to facial expressions which were announced in the press release for the game's initial reveal. To show off the update, here's matching footage of the Skull Crushing Finale in 2K23 compared with the move in 2K24 where the updated facial expressions make for a big difference. Also shown off in the footage is another of the new licensed referees, with this one appearing to be WWE official John Korn. According to the original WWE 2K24 press release, this year sees seven officially licensed referees, of which we know of four, as we have women referees AJ Smith and Jessica Carr, senior referee Charles Robinson, and now John Korn. As for the other three, it's possible that one could be former WWE referee Mike Kyoda, who may have been featured due to showcase mode, as this footage of Rhea Ripley's entrance shows a referee that closely resembles Mike Kyoda. Our next rating sees the LWO's Zelina Vega, whose entrance was previously released after she appeared in the preview build, with Zelina rated 74, which is the same rating she had in 2K23. Selena's attire is taken from last year's Backlash show, where she appeared in Puerto Rico wearing an attire that was inspired by the country's flag. In the footage that was shared of Selena, she can be seen squaring off against Dakota Kai of Damage Control, who was another star that was featured in the preview build, with Dakota seen in her white gear from Clash at the Castle. Next up, we have the reveal of Kevin Owens, whose rating was revealed to be 86, which is one point down on 2K23, where he was rated 87. The footage of Owens shows him going up against the phenomenal AJ Styles, who's seen here for the first time as he receives a package piledriver. 
Based on the footage, Styles attire is taken from Night of Champions, which took place in Saudi Arabia last May, as Styles can be seen in his blue P1 tights with the Japanese text on them, as it appears his recent return came too late to see him updated. Rounding out the first batch of reveals, we have US Champion Logan Paul, whose rating has increased considerably over last year, with Paul rated 90 overall, which is up 6 points on 2K23. Taking a look at his attire, Logan has the blue and yellow outfit that he wore at WrestleMania when he entered on a zip line, though interestingly, he doesn't have the Maverick logos this year, as they've been removed from the attire, potentially down to copyright. One thing he does have though is the Buckshot Lariat, which was added to the game last year as a DLC move, as the footage shows Logan deliver the Lariat to Humberto. Umberto's presence in this footage also confirms him for this year's roster, as Umberto can be seen in his Los Lotharios gear, which is the same attire that he had last year in 2K23, so it's likely that we'll see Angel Garza also with his old gear, as their new gimmick didn't make the cut. So that's all the stars that were shown off in the first batch of reveals on Up Up Down Down, however that wasn't all of the reveals, as during Smackdown we also got the rating reveal for Tiffany Stratton, who was revealed to be rated 79, which is down 1 point from 2K23. Also shown off during Smackdown, we got the reveal of former general manager Teddy Long, as the WWE Games account shared a screenshot of Teddy at ringside where he was shown wearing a suit. The inclusion of Teddy Long is an interesting one, as his appearance sees him dressed like a GM, which would suggest that he's included as a general manager within my GM, though it could also be a case of Teddy being included as a manager, which would explain him appearing at ringside. It's also possible that Teddy, or GMs in general, could also play a part in universe mode, as we know that new cutscenes have been added to the rivalry manager, so perhaps we'll see the ability to assign a GM who will then pop up during cutscenes. Alternately, prior to becoming a well-known name as a general manager, Teddy Long actually started out as a referee, so it's possible that Teddy could pull double duty and also appear as one of the seven licensed referees. While he's never appeared as a playable character, Teddy has made several appearances over the years as a general manager within story mode, with his biggest role coming in SmackDown vs Raw 2006, where he was at the centre of a whodunit storyline after being run down. So there's a full roundup of today's reveals, including that screenshot of Teddy Long. Let me know what you make of it in the comments, and stay tuned to the channel for more on WWE 2K24. Until next time though, thank you so much for watching this video, have yourself an awesome day, and I'll catch you later.